Wack 100 speaks on Charleston White's beef with T.I., his son, and he says that T.I.'s son is out of control. What up, YouTube? This is Getty Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a big salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, the Charleston White beef with T.I. and his son King has set the internet on fire and WAG 100 is putting his two cents in on the situation. He's saying King is wrong for coming at Charleston White and T.I. has responded. He says since T.I has responded charleston white is not going to stop and he says there's a lot of exposure on ti side pertaining to the case that he caught with the feds some years back as well as the allegations that ti and his wife have faced in the past about the inappropriate moves with the ladies man the conversation is interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it man shout out to wag 100 shout out to 100 ent this is getty radio let's go Because T.I. used to always say, you know, I'm caught telling shit to me by my son. My son is grown. He make his own decisions. Now you mad about the nigga responding to the grown son threatening me. That's what I was saying. He is I not a kid. Go. I got to agree with Charleston nah, White. No you, you went at Charleston. Your, your son went at Charleston White. Your son. Now, Charleston White, the last one, I had to put that up. Told the nigga, I learned how to be a cop from you, nigga. You <laughs> so was doing the weed tip, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you know you got caught with all them guns, nigga. How you do 12 months a day. I learned how to be a cop from you. Did you tell your son that you the one taught me and inspired me to be a cop? <laughs> you need to click on that boy, you ugly. He, he keep going. Oh, I mean, <laughs> let's just be real. Throw away, he say you yellow different. freak. <laughs> yeah. He is a little different And look, the little boy The doctor, the grown man Attacked that man It was crazy Dude been out of control for the last couple years Y'all know that yes. He then got yes. caught with straps and all that. that nigga went in a McDonald's And one of them things Tripping on one of the people Right? Nigga, I'm rich, you bald is crazy And we all watched the little nigga Grow up on TV you ain't had a struggling day in your life. Well, he said he made some comment about Charles Charleston White's being uh, life being easier, softer, grew up softer. I'm crazy? thinking, what are you talking about, bro? We watch you on TV. They had him on camera walking with a brown bag, and you can clearly see the imprint of a gun. They're like, "Be safe!" And he gonna grab it on the outside. Talking about. I'm straight. We always straight. I was like, this is yeah, he lost. an idiot. He lost. But I had to agree with Charleston on this. And I'm going to tell my T.I., if he don't silence his son, Charleston not going to stop. I'm going to tell you what he's trying to do. He baiting T.I. T.I. already then issued some shallow threats. Hey, man, you know, you got to move around out here, man. Things happen. You already issuing some shallow threats. Now, what's going to happen? Charleston White going to fuck around and really expose that this nigga is one of them cooperates. It's going to come out. And the best thing he can do is tell his son, shut the fuck up, and he shut the fuck up. Because Charleston ain't stopping. The nigga tried to get me a couple months ago. He had my name up all week. Nigga, I went on no jumper. And, and told that nigga, I want no problems. You win. Because as soon as you say, bitch ass nigga, I'm a whoop de whoop de whoop. Oh, that nigga threatened me. He called the police. Terrorist threat. Hey, Wack, I just watched the interview like 15 minutes ago. That nigga responded to that shit. Who? Oh. He kind of, Charleston White. He kind of said, the interview, I asked him about you in the clubhouse. And they kind of just said, how you know, you've been taking advantage of your opportunity and just kind of just blowing yourself up. He, he kind of bigged you up. With the yeah, I'm not fucking with that nigga. You can't go to war with no nigga like that. You can only do one thing with a nigga like that. It's and normal. if you ain't ready and willing to do that, you leave that nigga alone, bro. That nigga let you know I am a cooperant, nigga. Watch this. I, I just line the niggas up with the feds. Look, these niggas, go, I'm nigga. That nigga is sitting in, in a parking lot 
telling the police that nigga got the gun and he hit it. Okay, but White 100 is speaking about right here, man. Recently, Charleston White was in West Dallas and some people spotted him who don't like him. They surrounded him. He called the police. He said they had him wreck his car and everything. And the police came. He started pointing people out and saying who had the gun and who was involved. If you don't have a recollection of that, here it is right here. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Police. He's talking about thank you, Mr. Police. That's fucked up. Watch that. He put a gun on me. He was with him. Oh, he shit. He was with him. Oh, shit. Better not say shit to me. Oh, shit. But now you niggas asking me, Jay. Bro, I told y'all if the nigga make Christmas, he didn't mark the streets, nigga. When it, Texas or Dallas, where he's from. If he made Christmas, he marked them streets out and he didn't expose the world to all the civilians. The only thing you got to do with these tough niggas is call the police. They ain't going to do shit. And it's over with. Six, nine, been home two and a half, three years. They, they, they showing signs. CEO Chris, they say he running around. Right? and a host of others that we know about from our neighborhoods on the block. But we select the politics and saying, that's big booby brother, big new new nephew, so we gonna look the other way. And niggas is wondering why I don't insert myself or why I ain't putting no time or effort into wanting to be a part of, be a part of what? Nigga, the thrill is gone. Nigga, I listen to BB King every day, nigga. If you listen to them blues, boy, and you can grab the messages, you be all right. The thrill is gone, nigga. That's it. That this nigga. He made Christmas. Y'all know it. If the nigga made Christmas, it's over. Everybody growing up. See, when I was growing up, man, what happened to such and such, man? They say he was telling. They killed that nigga mom. They shot the nigga. They stabbed the nigga. So it was like being taught, nigga. This what happened when you do that. Now, man, what happened, man? That nigga caught that nigga with them 70 pounds. He told on them niggas and got out of that shit. He's still on the street running around with his kids, his woman, and all that shit. Driving a big car. He told on them niggas. <laughs> what they do? They ain't did nothing to that nigga. He letting them know. He called the police. Niggas is saying, man, we just don't fuck with him. Well, who fuck with him? Everybody else that been telling, they got their own little crew. Them niggas be throwing money in the club and everything, man. And all of them got guns, too. And they say they'll call the police. So guess what happens when that individual get caught up doing something? You're going to take the 20 years you want to tell. Shit. We in the land of the killer rats. Rats that will still kill you. Beware. Hey, why, why, why you give it to the day of Christmas? The fact uh, that he's provoking what? you is crazy. What make what? Why you say Christmas? If, if he if he make it to Christmas, is over. Why why you use? Because that, that means he didn't went the whole year, okay. promoting, <laughs> telling, <laughs> actually telling, and telling niggas he gonna keep telling, and he didn't. Nah, nah. Man, the nigga was just hosting the club a month ago, bro. Wow. Okay. After he told him, Soldier Boy. Uh, he was just with Kevin Gates. Nah, no, no, no. Fuck <laughs> Soldier Boy. After he lined up the niggas with the feds. In front of us and send him to jail. Fuck soldier boy. Right, right. Yeah, I get I get what you're saying. Damn. Yeah, that shit is. And, wild. and the nigga pops up, listen, listen. And what they do, they go book him for a club and give him a bag. And Damn. guess what? Wait, wait, guess what? People showed up to the club with raw liquor. Charleston White hosting the night. Wack 100 is correct on this, man, because Charleston White is touting himself as a certified comedian because he got booked at the Uptown Comedy Club in Atlanta, Georgia. They say it was a sold out show. And on the clips that they put up on YouTube in the comment section, a lot of people that were there were saying that he actually did a good job and that he may have a career in comedy. You already know if you watch his lives, he's really hilarious, man. A lot of people don't like him because he delivers a harsh truth. But when he tries to be funny and he's being comedic and he's being pejorative, he is quite entertaining and this video would not be complete without a Charleston White clip So I'm about to give it to you. Here we go. Yeah, just now I'm talking to that bitch ass nigga P.I. Yeah, nigga, you don't get to dictate nothing, nigga 
Yeah, you don't get you or whoever that nigga is on. No, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, you don't get to dictate nothing, nigga. I'm trying to get understanding. Well, I ain't trying to get an understanding or give an understanding, bitch ass nigga. If you can't take what I took, nigga, then fuck you. Crash out. Send somebody to crash out, bitch ass nigga. Who would, nigga? You ain't no comedian. Okay, if I ain't no comedian, nigga, then handle it like I ain't no comedian, then, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, deal with me like I ain't no comedian. If I ain't no comedian, yeah, that's what I told T.I. bitch ass, nigga. Yeah, nigga, you ain't dictating nothing. Not this conversation, nigga. I'm the big dog talking, nigga. You the one trying to get understanding, right, daddy? Well, guess what, bitch ass, nigga? I ain't trying to get now nor give a nigga one. So fuck you and your pussy, tip. That's exactly what I just told a nigga while on the phone. Now get on there and tell him that, nigga. Get on there and tell him that, nigga. I ain't scared of now one of you rap niggas think you're tough. Send somebody to crash out. I already got reports on you. You ain't got no family members or nobody that'll crash out. And you ain't never want to fight, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, I done already pulled your resume, Clifford. And whoever that nigga was you had on the phone trying to tell me I ain't no comedian, bitch ass nigga, I get paid $10,000 for a set, nigga. Now, can motherfucker, can you buy that? Yeah, I might be the police. And guess what? They asked me, man, you gonna put Tip's son in jail? I said, no, nah, I ain't gonna get him. I ain't gonna get him. When I stepped to his bitch ass daddy, he ain't have all that tough shit in his voice, nigga. You ain't no millionaire nigga ready to crash out and go to no motherfucking me. 23 hour lockdown, nigga. Taking that motherfucking covoid vaccination shot in prison or in jail, nigga. Stop talking tough trying to sell that shit to the people, nigga. You a straight up pussy, nigga. When your homeboy Phil, for Philae got killed, nigga, your bitch ass got on the stand, nigga, went to buying gun. Oh, I was buying gun, cause I was scared. Nigga, I got them same goddamn guns, nigga. And I ain't buy them cause I was scared. I buy them cause I like them and I can legally buy them and carry them, nigga. I don't give a fuck about you, whoever that bitch ass nigga you had on the phone with you, or your little ugly ass 18 year old grown ass son. He ain't no motherfucking kid, nigga. Dope fiend ass boy. That's a grown ass 18 year old boy that'll get a life sentence or a death sentence, nigga. Fuck you talking about. He ain't no motherfucking kid. Fuck you talking about. That motherfucker sent a threat to me. And you should be talking to that little stupid bitch, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. And fuck how whoever feel about what I'm saying, nigga. Come throw your life away about it, nigga. Because I'm going to get rich out from it. They going to want to have interviews, nigga. You goddamn right I got a motherfucking phone conversation with T.I. Talking about, I, nigga, you a nigga, please. All them motherfucking accusations of way you drug little girls, nigga. You trying to call me a predator, nigga. And you got over 13, 14 girls, teenage girls, say you sticking your foot in they pussy. You sick-minded ass rapping, nigga. You sick in your motherfucking mind. So, nigga, I've been working with kids for over 12 years. And I ain't never been accused of no predatory statements like that. But you have. You in your bitch, nigga. You and your bitch been accused, nigga, of violating the girl, nigga, giving them ecstasy pills, sticking your nine and a half long foot off in they pussies, nigga. Feet don't go in pussies. Sick-minded ass rapping, nigga. You and your bitch got caught with a hundred X pill if the motherfucking me L.A. shit that time. Nigga, you don't you remember? Don't try to, you don't try to talk like you some hellified motherfucking me, upstanding motherfucking citizen, nigga. When you really the motherfucking predatory pervert, it's documents on you, boy. It ain't none on me, nigga. You beside your motherfucking self, you and your freak looking ass baby. All right, YouTube, we gonna leave it right here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Charleston White is going hard, and Wag Mahunted is saying that King has messed up by coming at Charleston White because he's not gonna stop. And if you listen to that last little portion of audio where Charleston White was talking right there, man, you already know he's just beginning, and he's gonna keep drilling down on everything that's going on. And I think Wag Mahunted is right. T.I.'s too vulnerable for this. He's got too much on his plate. He's got too many things going on in his past. He's got too much controversy around his name to be beefing with a person like Charleston White because Charleston is going to pick at all of those old wounds. He's going to pull the scab off of them and reveal them for the world to see once again, man. How do y'all feel about this, man? Should King sit down? Should T.I. have a conversation with his son about how he's acting out here in the streets because they're saying he's wilding out. Hey, I've seen videos of him acting like he 
he's got guns and beefing with people. I think there's a video where he was like reaching in a bag, arguing with a person as if he had a gun in there, like he was gonna pull something on him. And he was flexing like he was big dog status. Like he was acting like a grown man. And this was before he was even 18 years old. This was a few years back. I've seen videos of him squabbling in school the whole nine yards. I think he's trying to take on his father's persona. And a lot of times, man, when you reveal yourself as such a person in the public, when you're a public figure and you tout yourself as a gangster or a man that don't take no junk or a man that's about that life or a man that has been through battles and wars and things like that, a lot of times your sons will admire that and they'll try to take on that persona because that's what you have shown them. And I'm not saying that that's the only thing T.I. has ever shown his son. Listen, we can't control where our children's feet are going to land in life. This is just where that boy's feet just decided to land in life and we don't know what's going to happen to him in the future but the route that he's going on he's going to be in the penitentiary probably before he's 25 years old if he keeps going down this road and on the other hand i think charleston white should be careful too because people don't play about their children regardless of how old they are some people still look at their children as their children even if they are adults a lot of people have protective values when it comes down to their children regardless of their age and if you're coming for a man's kid regardless of if his kid came for him that man is probably going to come for you and that's pretty much what ti was probably saying in a lot of those posts that he was putting up going at charleston white i hope this doesn't spill into the streets i hope it keeps on the internet and i hope at some point it settles down and i hope the young boy king finds his way to a path of betterness and righteousness man for the sake of himself man anyway that's been my show this is getty radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace